Well, this reminds me of working on the Ultimate GTI project out here, which took 12,000 hours and uh, five years. Um, this is going a little faster. So the Radical project, uh, mechanically the car is pretty good, um, given, you know, it's got some hours on it. What I'm doing here, I've stripped all of the um, uh, wrapping off the car and I've taken any spider cracks and you can see where the wings mounted. There's a number of areas that are chipped or cracked. And I've just hogged it out um, with a fine tool, Dremel tool, just, you know, created a V channel. And then what I do is I fill it with epoxy. So I use the um, uh, West system um, epoxy and I just paint it over the cracks and then I sand it down and then I use a couple other products. Um, if I've still got some holes to fill, um, I like the Evercoat um, short strand um, glass filler. That's a product that works really well. I use that with the um, carbon fiber body panels, uh, getting everything, gaps and everything correct on the GTI. And then the Evercoat uh, Polyflex. So I like both of their fine um, putty fillers or glazing putties. They, uh, they both work well. Uh, this has got a little bit more flex to it, still sands well. So. You know, there was a, um, you know, people sit on these seats and they break them because they're idiots. Um, you're only supposed to sit in this area here or stand there when you, when you, when you, when you get into the car, not sit. And um, you start putting pressure on this fiberglass shell in other areas, you're going to, you're going to crack it. Um, and there was someone that had leaned in here and they cracked it. So I've reinforced in behind. I mean, you just basically lay down, lay down some matting. And um, same thing, the corners have had some stress. And by the way, fiberglass is a little bit like metal. If you, uh, metal wants to get back to its original shape if it's been bent. Or, um, so sometimes when you're hammering it, the metal will get, it has sort of memory. Well, fiberglass has some memory. So if it's been distorted through pressure and abuse, heat it with the heat gun carefully and push it a little bit and it'll actually go back to its original shape. Um, and so the corners, specifically the corner over here on this uh, seat frame, this has been all bent out of shape and uh, cracked. So it's been new, um, new reinforcing fiber in behind and then um, I'm just cleaning it up. So, and there were just lots of spider cracks in this area on the seats. So they've already had the epoxy and now I'm doing some fine finishing putty filler. So I sort of had one, one fill in the sand already. And, um, you know, most of the panels are eh, pretty good. This is, you, you can tell when Radical designed the car, they cared a lot more about the mechanicals than they did about the, um, the fiberglass. There's just things I would have done differently. Like the front air splitter has got a piece of three quarter inch plywood in it, which is kind of, you know, it's strong obviously, but it's, um, it's heavier than it needs to be. I would say you could cut 150 pounds off this car if you, had uh, better, better panels. Um, yeah, side pods just get brutalized. Um, they take a lot of abuse, get banged up with these cars. And uh, I'm not gonna show you this in detail yet because I'm not really, uh, these are all just been washed and cleaned and degreased and um, they're drying now. And then I've, I've had to cut out a few sections here. They were just, um, things were all busted up on, on this edge here, probably the car bottomed out and um, contacted and uh, so got to fix some of that up um, the front this thing's pretty good got a very little to do and then the rears um, where'd the rear go the rears over here sorry um, it's got some um, wear just from the wheel wells the, uh, the fiberglass is worn there's a sort of a rub panel or a protection panel and that needs to be needs to be um, you know like new new um, matting laid down and then there's a few chips and things like that but what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot the undersides of this with uh, gray epoxy from southern polyurethanes so gray epoxy on the bottom white epoxy on the top on all these panels and then I'm going to do white urethane for a finish and then I'll wrap on top of that and I've got my color scheme organized. So anyway, um, 
this mid panel here, these things are some areas that I, I'm going to definitely structurally stiffen and reinforce because it's just weak in certain areas. And even though you don't take that on and off very often, you do crawl over that thing when you're getting in the car. And uh, I'm going to just add a pound or two of fiberglass to it and strengthen it up a bit before I put it all back in the car. So there you go. You'll uh, I'll show you some more progress as the painting gets going and the body work comes back together. Well, I'm deep in the middle of hell, fiberglass hell. Uh, it's actually going really, really well, but uh, I, last time I worked on carbon fiber, it was stiffer than, uh, you know, the, these fairly thin fiberglass shells. And even carbon fiber moves around on you. You feel like you were trying to straighten a wet noodle and sand a wet noodle, but it's coming along. Most of these panels are done to um, sort of the level where I can, you know, put finishing putty on now. These side pods, it's kind of poorly designed. First of all, they're hard to take on and off because there's so much stuff basically permanently bolted onto them, but um, uh, they're also just kind of poorly made and, and kind of um, wobbly. So I've, I've put stiffening material in behind all these sections so it's nice and rigid and I've backed them with additional matting and uh, epoxy on both the front and back and then I've squared off and leveled the um, the underside which is you know it gets scraped up and banged up as the car gets used and I'm just trying to make it absolutely perfectly straight which is ridiculous but I'm doing it so um, the underside of the rear is done and I've um, I'll re-drill out uh, these. This is all really, really stiff now, where the wooden mounts. Because that had cracked before. It was, again, in an area where it was quite weak. And the fender wells are all reinforced and underneath now and look great. So I'll sand and I'll fill and make that all perfect. The front clip doesn't need any work. That one's pretty much ready to be scuffed and uh, primed. So yeah, the big battle is, is, is finishing up the, uh, the side pods. Take at least another day on those. And the seat is ready to go for paint. Well, these things turned out incredibly well. So several coats of epoxy and sanding and touch up. And then a little filling. Reminds me of the work on a GTI, you know, where you're trying to iteratively improve them but uh, you know these things look so good now and uh, you know they were a little bit uh, battle worn and now they're like butter smooth and straight and uh, glossy so yeah I'm gonna attack all the other ones that are hidden away there now and uh, create a few more masterpieces and then I can eventually have all the body work done and bolt it back on the car and put the, uh, also obviously put the wrapping on. There's a huge amount of work left to do to make this thing look the part with uh, the yellow, metallic matte yellow and the carbon fiber wrapping. So yeah, these things are curing. It's uh, very low humidity and 77% uh, 77 Fahrenheit right now. Uh, I'm going to cure overnight a little further. Uh, it's urethane and, uh, and then tomorrow I'll paint the bottoms black and then start working on the other panels. So I'm just finishing up the side pods. They, uh, they're white but they're going to have the wrapping applied to it, the carbon fiber and the Daytona uh, yellow wrapping. So I've just shot the uh, bottom in some black epoxy just to keep the bottom of the car black. And then I've been working like a mad man and have very stinky in here. But, uh, we have all the uh, parts are done in your thing now. And uh, they're just drying. And then I'll let 
sand them a little bit and I'll throw some of the orange peel and roughness and do a little bit to touch up. Since it's a single stage paint, it's a lot easier to work with than metallic slash clear. So anyway, yeah, so it's coming along and uh, going to be getting to finish up the painting in a few more days and then I'll be into wrapping. Well, I also got the exhaust system looking fantastic. Uh, I think I've shown this to you guys before, but I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm midway through wet sanding out this panel. I've temporarily wrapped all the other panels up to protect them. And uh, yeah, it's going really, really well. It's nice having the single stage, you know, just plain white rather than the base clear to deal with. So um, this panel and the front clip are both um, quite rigid and strong and they look good. The, this one here, but now that it's all painted, I've noticed there's a few little chunks around the latches, little corners knocked off that I didn't see until it was painted, so I'll have to fill and touch touch those up and blend them in. But uh, yeah, it's working really well. The only problem is it is a race car and I'm like making it, you know, perfect for the paint. Really shiny and flat and thinking I'm wasting my time, especially the part of it's going to get wrapped, but I'm enjoying it.